Good evening, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering relief of your back and neck aches for Fanwood, Scotch Plains, and Plainfields area. Today we're going to talk about uh, traction for the neck, cervical traction. Uh, one of the jobs as a chiropractor, obviously, is to get people out of pain, and there's a, a lots of different ways I employ different measures or techniques in the office, and traction is a big part of what I do, uh, in addition to manipulation or adjustments and soft tissue work. With cervical traction, the goal is to relieve pressure on the spine. And there's lots of different ways that I can do that. I can do it mechanically with my hands by just grabbing somebody's head and neck and just slowly stretching and distracting the joints, pulling, almost creating separation between the joints and stretching the muscles. Uh, we can use other things like towels or straps to get even more of a, a distractive force on the spine to relieve pressure. But there's also machines we use in the office. Uh, cervical extension machines that put the head into a backward position to work to put the curve back into the neck. Um, those cervical uh, extension devices can be a foam block, it could be a machine. Uh, we could actually even put uh, stretch even more by using different weights and harnesses to get even further uh, extension into the spine. Uh, in addition to that, there's also a machine we use called spinal decompression, which is a computerized machine that uses uh, a motor that's responsive with the spine, uh, creating that max stretch of the muscles, um, and, it, and it works to uh, ramp up weight and then r bring it back down. Uh, there's a period where it's loading the spine and then it's unloading the spine. Uh, and the goal, again, is to ultimately offer relief. Uh, sometimes patients come in with pain down the arm, numbness or tingling into the hands or fingers, and this is one of the ways to take pressure off that nerve um, that, that might be impinged or irritated or inflamed. Uh, so there's a lot of different reasons why we use traction in our office. Um, the premise on why, why it works is because it stretches the muscles, it creates that distraction of the actual joints, it actually unlo unlocks or unloads the joints. To, all the compressive forces are unloaded. Um, it actually expands the disc space, allowing uh, nutrition, uh, different um, fluids, uh, blood, oxygen, nutrient to go into the actual disc to heal it. Um, and also uh, by unloading those, those joints, it feels good. It's taking weight off of your head and your shoulders. Um, it also helps to improve your posture, or that we call forward head posture, when we go into that extension position. If we're spending a lot of times looking down on our phone or on our computer, our, our shoulders are rolling in, our head's coming forward, this is one of the ways to open up and combat, uh, kind of reverse all those compressive forces and load in on the spine. Um, so it's safe, it's effective, uh, and it helps a lot of our patients. Sometimes we even have patients do it at home. Uh, one of the simple ways to do that is just to kind of hang your head off the edge of your bed. Uh, you start out with just a few minutes uh, and then you go further and further back um, and increase time as we go. But that's obviously um, based on our recommendations, uh, based on your condition, your age, all that stuff is, is a factor. Uh, if you're having neck pain, uh, shoulder pain, upper back pain, uh, cervical traction, uh, traction for the neck can be a really good, safe, effective treatment modality. Uh, if you have any questions whether this might be the right treatment for you, just shoot me a message, give us a call. We are always here and happy to answer your questions. Hopefully everyone has a great day and we will talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. Catch soon.